Hey y'all, it's 5 a.m. I'm getting ready for work and actually watching That's a Raven. I like watching That's a Raven in the morning. It's funny and I don't know, it just keeps me going so. So I'm about to do, and I'll probably see you guys when I get off work. So, bye. Hey, y'all. So, I'm off work. I got off work, went to the nail salon. Okay. I got, I got some stories for y'all. Then, um, Cali Go Potty. Since Vlogmas is upon us, and we gotta vlog every day, but. Yeah, it's been a struggle, a real life struggle. So I got off work. I was like, "Oh, I'm about to go get my toes done." And me and Jazz supposed to be trying out this new nail salon because we heard that it was good. So I go to the nail salon or whatever, and I walk in there, nice little nail salon. So I go in there. Usually, when you go to the nail salon, people be like, "Oh, welcome to." Such and such nails, you know, what are you trying to get today? You know, five, ten minute wait, or you're right behind this person. Something like that. I get in there, nobody say nothing to me. So, a few minutes go by and I'm looking like, okay, when is somebody going to, you know, take my, you know, tally me, tell me what spot in line I am, who I'm behind, like, Ask me, am I getting a pedicure, manicure, whatever, so I can go sit down or we'll go to this station, that station. Nobody says anything to me. And so eventually I look around like, okay, so how are they going to know, like, what spot I'm in line? Like, not only do I not, not know where my place in line is, how do they know where my place in line is? So I was like, okay, I ain't trying to get skipped and I ain't trying to waste my time. So I politely got up and I walked right on out. And I was like, well, I'm about to go to the nail salon that I know. You hear y'all friend in the background? So I go to the nail salon that I know, you know, immediately when I get in there, they're like, okay, so what you trying to get today? So I'm like, I'm trying to get a pedicure and a full set. Boom. They're like, all right, go sit down at Station number four. I don't know. I can't remember what number, but, you know. They be like, go down sit at station number four. So I was in there, chilling. Got my toes done. Boom. They was like, all right, you, uh, it's going to be like a little wait, but you can sit up here and let your toes dry. So I'm like, cool. I've done it before. It, it has been nothing. But the girl next to me that came after me, she got her toes done. And one of the full set, and she got sat down with the same girl that did her nails, which is not a problem. So, the person who I thought was gonna do my nails finished this lady's nails and then immediately went to somebody else. So, I'm like, okay. The girl who was doing my feet, who I thought I was waiting on as well. <laughs> went and did somebody's nails after she was doing my feet. So I thought that once she was done with that lady nails, she was going to do my nails because I was the person whose pedicure she did. Nope, she went and did somebody else's <laughs> toes that came after me. Hey. 
Then somebody came in and was like, they was like, okay, um, what are you trying to get? And the girl was like, oh, I'm trying to get a full stack. Immediately sat down. Now, mind y'all, I'm sitting in the pedicure, well, the drying area, okay? I'm not even sitting at a table so that I can get my nails done. So, it's like, how can you seat her before you seat me? And I've been serviced and waiting on my next service. So, y'all know what I did? Just take a wild guess. Just take one, one wild guess. I took them little fake little flip flops off. Removed that little paper towel from between my little toes. Put my shoes on. And I stood up. No, I ain't walk out without band. But I got up. As soon as I got up, somebody was like, Oh, he's about to do your nails. He's about to do your nails. At that point, it's over. Because it take, it take me a lot to be like, all right, I'm done. Okay? So, the fact that I was at, I'm done, it was too late for that. It wasn't no, oh, okay, sit back now. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I was done. And she said that he was going, he was finna do my nails. I was still standing there. They had cash one person out. I said, "Can you cash me out?" The guy was like, "Oh, he's about to do your nails." I said, "I got somewhere I need to be." He said, "It's twenty dollars." I gave him the twenty cash, and I walked my behind right on out that door. You could have made fifty more dollars, but. You ain't appreciate me, so I ain't giving you my money. And I walked on out. But you know, that's how I do it. If you don't appreciate me, you ain't get my money. I take my money somewhere else. And that's what I'm going to do. So stay tuned for when I actually get my fingers done. My full set, because I don't know. But y'all want to see my little toes? Callie like my toes. She acting stained, though. She be the one who always be trying to eat my toes. Kelly, look. Kelly, you like my toes? Look. They cute. You gonna eat them? You gonna eat them? <laughs> Maybe she's so wrong. Maybe she don't like the way they smell because they probably smell like Nail polish and chemicals, so that's why she like, <laughs> what's that type thing? But she gonna be all right, y'all. Y'all stay tuned. Y'all stay tuned, cause watch, I'm gonna show y'all when she eat my toes again. I'm gonna be like, well, see, she was at the stink, but she ain't at the stink no more. Y'all stay tuned. Hey y'all. So I am finally out from my nail. I only took like a 30 minute nap because I really. <sighs> because I really couldn't fall asleep, so my nap was real brief. Um, but yeah, so I'm trying to pick out an outfit to wear tonight. Disgraceful already. I just want to go, to be honest. Now that I done took a nap, all I want to do is go to sleep. Like, I don't even want to go out no more. I was so pressed and was like, girl, we finna. Mm, mm, mm. Tell the town up, ooh, ooh, earlier. But girl, once that nap hit, it's all over for that. Um, so, I'm real tired. Sleepy. But I'm trying to, you know, get my life together with this blogmas thing, so. Girl. And picking out an outfit is the absolute worst. That's why I don't want to do it. But. Mm. 
We know what's gonna happen. Kelly's eating her dental chew, so she ain't worried about nothing. And I'm about to. Oh, wait, you can't even. It's so dark over there. Oh, oh, that is you. Hear that? <laughs> but um, Kelly eating her dental chew, and I think I know what I'm gonna wear. So this might be easier than I thought. Um, but yeah, so, yep, I know what I'm going to wear, I know what I'm going to wear, so, I will charge this camera, because we on 20%, and I only got one battery, because I'm not spending no money on the extra batteries, and extra, um, memory cards, so, <clears throat> I'm about to charge y'all. I'm just picking out this outfit, take a shower, beat this face, and then I'm gonna leave. All right. So. Hey y'all. So, I'm gonna eat my usual gourmet miso soup. <laughs> You know, straight from the chef. <laughs> straight from the chef's uh, kitchen. You feel me? Specifically cooked for me. Well, you have your own personal chef, boy. Yeah, I'll put get you one. I had to re I had to reheat it though. That's the only thing. I had to reheat that mug. And you know what? Don't come season. You know, the chef be like, look, you don't have to season it yourself. So I'm about to show y'all how I season my noodles. Y'all about to be like, ooh. Ooh. -hoo. That's what y'all gonna say. What y'all talking about over there? <laughs> hey, big head. <laughs> That's funny. I'm sorry. Did I touch your fries? Alright, so the key to making successful noodles is you gotta start off with your base. You feel me? I'm letting y'all in on the secret, so y'all better be grateful. That's why you need your Lowry's. You can't have successful noodles without Lowry's. And then you need your nature seasoning. If you don't have your nature seasoning, then you need your salt and your pepper. That's your base. Seasoning, salt, salt, and pepper is your base. Blue. This this is one ratchet kitchen. I don't care how much money I make in this world, how rich I ever be, I will always eat noodles. It's in my heart and soul. It's my comfort food. Then you need your garlic powder. Garlic powder, baby. Don't put a lot, just put a little dab. A little dab. That's all you need. And then you you can end it off right there with top it off with some hot sauce and you can be done to see the nail in the coffin. You feel me? Is this red pepper? These crushed red pepper flakes. Just a little dab of that. Nothing too major. 
And you make sure you swirl that in real good, cause see, they gonna get soft. They gonna get real soft. I'll change the light now. And then after that, I usually put, since this is my little routine, I put my hot sauce in. And see, I don't eat hot sauce or nothing else but in my noodles. I ain't like y'all heat. <laughs> And then you gotta taste it. Oh. And then you go back and season if need be. More. Me and Jazz about to go out. A good uncle. Now, no, sometimes uncle. <laughs> oh, I got to get paid. No, niggas, I need it now. Oh, are you bossy? Come here. Yeah, look at this. You love me for real, for real. Stop there it. You hey. Oh, Auntie Love. She's so cute. Early today, though.